Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone's doing well. Got a couple quick updates for you guys, one being the giveaway winner from a couple videos ago. Let's go to that right now. Congratulations Detailing101 for being the giveaway winner from last week's video. If you can, just find my email in the description below. Send me an e your email with your name, info, mailing address. Uh, also, I'm probably going to upgrade you to the four-piece instead of the two-piece that I showed uh, shown in the last video. The four-piece is a lot nicer. It's nicer to have four of them detail guards instead of just two. Uh, but make sure you get me your information. Also, we want to do some kind of big giveaway. We're getting close to 10,000 subscribers. I remember when we first had a couple hundred, me and Todd were like, wouldn't that be sweet if we had a thousand subscribers? Now we're almost at 10,000 and we want to do some kind of big giveaway. Maybe not street speed level or dirty max jack level, uh, but something big for you guys. So we're still getting all the legal stuff together, figuring out what we want to give away, but it's definitely going to be worth checking out. So stay tuned for that. But anyway, he's about to knock down my tripod. So I'm going to get this video started and I'll catch you guys later. All right, you guys are here to see some wheel coating applied. We're going to be using the IGL wheel coating. Works really, really well. First, before I get started, I'm just going to go ahead and clean the undercarriage real quick with some all-purpose cleaner and the pressure washer. Just trying to get some of the rocks and mud. I rarely ever pull these wheels off, so I'm going to take advantage of it. Uh, and then we'll get right into actually prepping the wheels for the coating. Uh, as far as prep work, I'm actually going to be using the Gion iron remover and then for the tires I'll just use the stoner all-purpose cleaner to scrub them tires down uh, with the tough shine tire brush we'll see how this iron remover works it might not be quite aggressive enough on the back side of these wheels they're pretty they're pretty dirty uh, and definitely haven't been cleaned for a really long time they're kind of corroded a little bit as well so I might have to get the acid out I'm not too sure we'll see how it goes uh, as for what's in my bucket, just got a couple little brushes, got my tire brush, and I got my lug nut brush. I don't have lug nuts on it, uh, so typically I can just get in them holes with a towel. Uh, yeah, the brush isn't, it's pointless to use. So I'll just clean the whole wheel with a nice microfiber towel, front and back. Uh, make sure, I would typically recommend on the front, only because sometimes you'll pick up little tar chips, or like little rocks that stick to the back side of the wheel. So I recommend doing the front first and then maybe every wheel just switch your towel out with a new towel. Uh, that black part, as you see in the middle there, isn't coming off. Uh, that stuff is like really, really on there. I tried scrubbing it. It just wasn't worth it. Uh, it's just really, really old dirt and it's kind of corroded. So I think I might actually try some kind of wheel acid. So here's the wheel acid. I buy this from Cumberland Truck Parts. It's just down the road. It's actually an tr aluminum trailer cleaner. And then I just dilute it. I forget what the dilution ratio is, but it's mostly water with a little bit of acid. That made them a little bit cleaner. Are they still are they still perfect? No, they're not. They're not even close to perfect. What I'll do next is try to get off any kind of tar using the stoner tarminator. I will note the tarminator typically is safe to use on most wheels. I have seen guys have issues with powder coated wheels though. So try to stay away from powder coated wheels. But for most most cases, do, just do a little test spot and see how it goes. There I just sprayed a little bit of all purpose cleaner on there. The, the tarminator kind of leaves a residue behind and the degreaser, the all purpose cleaner will help, help cut that kind of down. And then just clean the front again in case any kind of terminator got to the front of the wheel. Then once all the wheels and tires are clean, I'll just go ahead and dry them all off with the air compressor to save a little bit of time. If you order the IGL wheel coating kit, this is what you'll get. You'll get some instructions, a warranty card, some applicator pads, some, uh, and then it has this foam block. I don't like to use this foam block. It's kind of hard to get in cracks and crevices. Uh, and I also have seen it kind of more paint if the foam hits it. Uh, some gloves and then the actual wheel coating itself and then the prep solvent you want to make sure you always use this before you do any kind of coating with the IGL pre-coat I basically just mist it on the whole face of the wheel and then come and wipe it off with a couple towels this stuff is alcohol based so it, it does flash really nice dries to a nice streak free finish you're not sitting there uh, wiping it trying to get off any kind of residue it does clean very well uh, to prep for the coatings if you wanted to polish your wheels to get out any scratches or any kind of oxidation, you want to you want to polish them before you do the pre-coat step. Uh, that way you can remove any kind of polishing oils. 
uh, before you coat the wheels. For the back side, I'm just going to spray my towel directly and then wipe the whole wheel down with the pre-coat and then come back with my second towel. Just didn't want any kind of extra mist going bouncing onto the front of the wheel having to wipe that all again. Then once you have all your wheels wiped down with pre-coat, you're finally ready to coat. I'm using the Suede Applicator by Autofiber. I'll put a link in the description below. I do apply the first the first application. I do apply quite a bit of product onto the applicator, as you can see. As you go, you don't have to apply quite as much. Uh, and then it's pretty basic. Just wipe it on. Uh, and then I'll let, it, I'll let it sit. Depends on the wheel and the humidity and temperatures. But I'll usually let it sit for anywhere between three and five minutes before I come back and wipe it off. If it's a real intricate wheel and it has a lot of grooves and cracks and crevices, uh, so it's definitely easier to spray the wheels with a, like a paint gun or even like an, a cheap airbrush you can buy off Amazon. Uh, but for these wheels, they're super flat, super simple to coat. Uh, and then for the back side, I actually just apply it the same way. But for these back sides, I'm not even going to wipe it off with towels once I'm done. I'm just going to let all the product on there. Uh, you won't see any kind of high spots. If these were nice gloss black wheels, I'd probably level the back side after I applied it. Uh, but for these, a little bit of extra product will probably help. Then make sure to put the cap on nice and tight because this stuff does solidify and turn pretty hard quick. And it'll get all crusty around the top. Uh, then wait, uh, I typically wait probably around 3-5 to five minutes before I go ahead and level any excess. Uh, you don't have to really scrub with the towel, you just want to wipe any excess off. Uh, and with black wheels, you want to make sure you don't have any high spots. I'll do another video eventually of some nice, actually nice wheels that I'll spray or airbrush uh, and polish them beforehand. Uh, and then wait one to two hours depending on temperatures. It was pretty warm in the shop today, uh, so I waited about an hour. And then I'm going to apply this a second coat of the coating, uh, basically the same way I applied the first coat. Uh, and then I'm just using the gray side of the applicator. The first time I used the blue side, now I'm using the gray side. Now I did two layers on all the wheels, and as you can see, I still have a lot of product left. Now if you're doing 24 by 14s or something, you might use a half a bottle, uh, but still a little goes a long way. As far as longevity, I typically do an inspection on all coated wheels every year just to see if they need a top coat applied. Uh, it all depends on your maintenance as far as longevity uh, and it, what kind of wheel cleaners you use. But if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys, and I'll catch you later.